welcome back. I'm here with my good friend Marie Brown with Primary Health Services Center in Monroe. She's here to talk about the upcoming Juneteenth Parade. Marie, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Great to have you. When is the Juneteenth Parade? Because I know it's not going to be on June 19th when the day is typically celebrated. Right, right. Uh, it's a state holiday for the third, 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 third Saturday of every June. Mm -hmm. So, but there are so many people having it till I figure, why don't we just in Monroe close the uh, month out with Juneteenth? So it'll be this Saturday at Charles Johnson's Children's Park. And how does it get started? What, are, what is the route of the parade? Well, we're going to, it's, it's a short parade. Uh -huh. We're going to start at uh, right across the street from Wiseman High School behind Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go down Burke Jones Lane straight to Johnson's Children's Park and um, have our opening ceremony prayer there once we get there and then the festivities start. What are some of the highlights of the festivities this year? Well, we have um, Dr. Schumar from Baton Rouge is going to come with his African American Traveling Museum. Everything that African American ever invent invented, this man has found it. Great. And he's put it in a traveling museum and the children will get to actually see some stuff that was um, done by African Americans. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have Percy Percussion from Lafayette is going to come and um, they're going to bring their African drums and they get a chance to hear the beat again and call Monroe to attention and say, hey, let's just slow it down a bit and just have some nice, clean family fun. And besides the parade, it's going to culminate at the park and people can hang out and Yes, we're going to have great music. We're going to have food. We're going to have health care checks. Mm -hmm. uh, other vendors are going to be there. Um, we're going to be doing just a creating that family atmosphere again uh, in the community. So I want everybody to come out, bring your lawn chairs. Uh, if you got tents, bring your tents. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to make sure we have plenty of water there for you, and we'll have something to eat for you, too. Just everybody's invited to the barbecue to celebrate our oldest uh, freedom of, um, from slavery. And uh, we want the children to understand where they came from and get a bit of history. Uh, and what are you telling the children? Well, we're telling them that even when a lot of children think we were free in uh, the 4th of July, mm -hmm. but actually it was June the 19th, 1865, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. So what happened is uh, Texas, Louisiana, Florida, they all sent their slaves to Texas. I guess Texas had a great army, but General Granger came here with thousands of soldiers uh, to say the Civil War was over and it's time to let the slaves go. And of course, a lot of them didn't have places to go, so the slave owners ended up keeping them uh, for a while to even finish the crops, whatever those crops were being uh, grown during that time. Very interesting. So it took two years for the message that slavery was over to reach Louisiana and Texas? Well, you know, it's, it's not that the slave owners didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's just that if you have nobody enforcing the law, you're sure. going to keep doing what you're doing. And because African Americans didn't have any communication, um, they were just, you know, let's, hey, until somebody tell us to let them go, mm -hmm. we're not going to do it. So that's why, uh, and it took two years, and so now we decided to um, celebrate that day, and hopefully one day it will become a national holiday. Well, big celebration this weekend. Uh, you can go to myarchimist.com for more information, and I wish you the best success, Marie, and I hope to see you around this weekend. It's going to be a great time. We'll be looking forward to this. Thank you so much.